Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Well, last week we got things started in our Horse Racing Nation Breeders' Cup Distaff Preview. We'll get back to that as well as dive into some of the biggest races at Santa Anita over their short fall meet in the coming weeks. But this week I thought it would be a good chance to dive into a few of my favorite renditions of the Breeders' Cup Distaff of the past. Obviously this is an opinion. Some folks may agree or disagree, but there are a few that really stuck out to me. First off, a few years before I really was immersed in the game, the 1988 rendition, Personal Ensign. The, the champion undefeated Philly looked to make it 13 for 13 as she would end her career at Churchill Downs, but she had to run down Kentucky Derby winner winning colors as well as goodbye halo in the lane. It looked like she might not get there, but Randy Romero got her up in the shadow of the wire. What a thrilling race it was. One of the first races that I will remember watching as I became a big fan and of the sport of Kings. Personal Ensign, what a horse. What a race. She would win champion uh, older female honors that year and retire undefeated. All right. Fast forward a few years. 1993 and 94, my other two favorite renditions for different reasons, though. 93, you had the classic battle between two stars in the stretch at Santa Anita Park, the site of this year's Breeders' Cup. You had Hollywood Wildcat. Eddie Della Husse, the daughter of Chris S. And then you had the foreigner, you had Passiana, Chris McCarron. They battled throughout the lane. And in the end, it was Hollywood Wildcat who got up in the shadow of the wire. Wow, what a race. They battled tooth and nail throughout. Hopefully we can get something of that sort this year. Maybe Songbird and Beholder. What a special moment that would be in racing. But the 93 rendition, Hollywood Wildcat, Passiana, what a race that was. And then the next year, 94, special for a different reason. It provided one of the bigger upsets in Breeders' Cup Distaff history. And, of course, it was one of the great calls. Tom Durkin did it wonderfully. Gary Stevens, Tom Proctor, Glen Hill Farms, one dreamer, 47-1, to 1, loose on the lead. The Hall of Fame rider Stevens got everything he could out of her, and she was able to hold off Heavenly Prize at the wire. One dreamer, 47-1, to 1, lights up the tote board. Durkin calls it a felony by Stevens. He stole a $1 million race. I'll never forget it. What a run. What a race. What a ride. It was a great rendition. 93 and 94, back-to-back -back incredible versions of the Breeders' Cup Distaff. Well, since then, I had I tr had some honest trouble finding races that compared to those three. You had incredible runners, obviously talented ones, Aziri. You had Royal Delta winning two in a row. You had Beholder. You had Untappable. You had Zenyatta, of course, winning for fun. But to me, the race has been lacking the true comp competition or that you know same feeling I got when I watched One Dreamer wire that field out. But I'm hoping 2016 will bring us that. We've got Songbird, Beholder, Stellar Wind, Cavorting. Could be one for the ages. I'll cross my fingers, as I know you will, that they all get there healthy and we see another thrilling version. There were some good ones in the past, but to me, the 88, the 93, and the 94 stuck out. Personal Ensign, Hollywood Wildcat, and of course, One Dreamer. All right. Well, big weekend coming up at Parks with the Cotillion and the Pennsylvania Derby. And then next week, Santa Anita Park opens for the meet that will end with the Breeders' Cup. Then we'll head to Del Mar. Can't wait for it all, obviously. But until then, good luck with the windows. Looking forward to seeing Songbird take on Catherine Sophia, the Oaks winner. And, of course, Nyquist and Exaggerator getting it back on. It looks like Exaggerator will have to prove himself over a fast track. Rain not expected. Have a great week and good luck with the windows.